of relief, plenty of good vibes in the air after a good win over the Blues on Sunday at the MCG. Clint Stanaway with you inside Melbourne with thanks to Zurich. Jack Viney's back. Okay, Stanners, how are you? I'm good, really good. Um, and a couple of fairly sizable lads in the house this afternoon. A couple of big, big fellas. Do you want to introduce them? Uh, we've got Max Gorn for his second appearance on the podcast. Welcome, Max. Nice thanks, done something thanks, right. Clint. And um, we've got yeah, thanks. We've got <laughs> my favourite ruckman, um, Braden Bruce, on. Go. Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Thank Give him all that. That's what I've got. Right. <laughs> I'm uh, so. Does he always like? Do you want Barnes to always be back week after week? So you made this point. The episode that I was in, I, like he was. Yeah, we back on the hanging shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he was bread and butter sort of stuff. Real boring. <laughs> So well, I, ha- I had to see this shit, mate, because you and Gus were all over the shop. I Sony had taken control. It's the highest rated podcast this then, year. Yeah, luckily you got me on there steering the shit, mate. Otherwise, it would have been a complete he was disaster. The whip and all you boys could do, Gus and yourself, was talk about yourselves. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So there weren't, there wasn't much bigger picture about the podcast. Put it that way. Right. And how have you come prepared today? You ready to go? Yeah, I've got three, four sheets stapled up, ready to go. All right. Hey, Brucey, welcome. Good to have you on board. Thanks for having me. Uh, how did you enjoy the weekend? Uh, yeah, it was good until the last quarter. I had no <laughs> bench and then actually had to get out of first gear, which sucked, but no, it was a good win. How was it in that last quarter? Jeez, it must have been tough with, with one on the bench. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, you're pretty spot on. It was, it was tough. So, yeah. But um, luckily, we grinded it out and yeah, a good win. Jack, how did you find it? Uh, yeah, you know, similar to what Brucey said, you go into the last quarter with... Um, with only one on the bench, um, does make things difficult, um, more challenging for sure. So uh, I'm sure there were some fatigued boys uh, come the end of that game. But um, you know, you pull up, pull up significantly better after a win. So yeah. um, no one's really complaining. That's not true. I'm pretty cooked. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be even sore if you lost. <laughs> we lost. Um, a few players actually didn't get a rest the whole second half is that is that right were you one of those jack uh i in the last quarter i didn't come off um which is which is really odd um normally uh, normally you kind of get a minimum of two rests a quarter as a midfielder so um yeah that was that was uh abnormal for myself but uh you know when the game's that that close uh fatigue is kind of a second thought it's um you know just what we got to do to get um, get the game on our terms again, Max? I know you didn't play, but you still featured prominently in the um, telecast. Uh, lots of cutaways of you <laughs> in yep. the box. Yep. Uh, a lot of you time. Um, tell the members how's the ankle? Are you well, back? I, I did. I worded it up the Fox Footy before. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I said I'll be back row. Um, quarter time and three quarter time. I said don't film me because that's when I'll be eating some white bread and maybe some snakes, which isn't great for TV for a professional athlete, but. Um, no, look, it was yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a bit, a bit easier for me than these 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 guys. I had a coffee at three quarter time, <laughs> um, strong three quarter, which is yeah, all the rage at the moment. Three quarter, um, but I was proud. Like that was, it was pretty hard to do what they did in the last quarter, and um, even for Big Brucey beside me, his first game and Cruiser had half an hour on the bench and then came on for the last fifteen mm. minutes. It was almost like the sub vest was reinvented and mm. Cruiser came out and ran a K in <laughs> about two minutes. So. Um, yeah, and that was all over the ground and Alex Neil Bullen played the high half forward role which is the deaf role um, <laughs> in terms of running for the whole for the whole last quarter um, so there's some really good stories and we did hold on yeah we, we went down by a point for a little bit there but Hunty to kick the, the magic goal was good um, in terms of my ankle um, I'm okay I thought I could play there's some people higher up than me in the medical, medical department that apparently can read scans better than me but um, <laughs> I thought I was a good chance of playing and up until probably when did you find out Friday, Sunday, Sunday yeah just before the game I found yeah, out yeah, yeah oh, it's good so they pulled in from Casey although you were looking forward to getting out there and getting triple teamed against the North <laughs> <North Carolina. laughs> um, and yeah I, Sunday morning I woke up probably still wanted to play but we got the win. So what's the plan heading into this week? Uh, the plan is obviously to be back, Max and Percy. Um, hopefully you get a gig as well alongside the big fella. Oh, well, just just on this, I, we had a bit of a mm. uh, breakfast this morning with a couple of Inner Sanctum um, fans. Oh, yeah. The, the Demon, the it's support a hot group. topic, was it? Yeah, and they're saying they think, uh, considering how well Percy played, Max, he should actually come back through the VFL. <laughs> Um, I'm stuck on 49 thoughts. games down there, so I wouldn't mind getting my 50th. I don't think it's as simple as what 
um, you think they're yeah. standards, it's you know, actually both games are at Eddie Head, so um, yeah, like I've already had. looked into the curtain razor. Um, <laughs> unlike you, probably didn't even know VFL were playing this week, they are okay. before the Western Bulldogs game. We played Footscray at Eddie Head Stadium, so um, I mean, I I'm excited to play Tim, Tim English or, or Young Sweet down in the VFL. I even know who I could play against, so there you go. I've jumped on your ac- acquisition and I've smashed it. Okay. <laughs> well said. Uh, Brucey, yep. uh, this weekend, the yep. Bulldogs coming up. Do you fancy yourself as a bit of a stay-at-home full forward as well? There's a lot of member oh, questions about that. <laughs> I would love Jesus. to not leave the goal square <laughs> like, every game if that was possible, I mean, but it, unfortunately you can't these days. So yep. But Yeah, I do fancy myself. But yeah. there, there's potential for a more forward time with um, Tommy McDonald yep. now out. I mean, last man standing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> what about that? So we're going to get the guy from um, <laughs> Port, Port, Port Melbourne too. There, no, <laughs> there was another mid-season draft. I'm sure I wouldn't have a spot, but yeah, I've somehow I've scraped in there. Because he kicked a few snags against the Swans earlier yep. in the season, so you don't mind a goal. Yeah, well, both of those goals, I think I was playing in the ruck at the time, so yeah, I should probably work on me four crafts. So I can actually get a kick. <laughs> And St Kilda, I think they were both when you were forward, weren't they? Uh, first one was forward, the second one was in the ruck. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm. So you can kick goals from the ruck. Yeah, it's not hard. I've just chosen not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack, how have you found, uh, how do you find Prusy's game at the weekend? Uh, heaps some superlatives on the big fella, please. Uh, no, I thought he was terrific. Uh, you know, he's very, very strong, you know, in terms of his centre bounce and around the ground craft. Um, but then also being able to get to, you know, some contested marks um, and be a big presence down the line as well is exactly what we need from from our big fellas. And I thought he uh, played that role terrifically. I thought when you um, when you stood the mark on Matty Cruiser... Uh, what happened there? And you decided to stand the other way was <laughs> one of your better moments of the day. Well, it put him off. It, did. <laughs> <laughs> it put everyone off. Yeah, everyone <laughs> stopped. I was, just, I was just slowing the game down. So <laughs> so the best. Can get back, midfielders can slide back, so... Yeah, it was a good team effort, I thought. <laughs> Someone noted on Twitter that it looked a bit like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> well, it's a bit rough. I was just dumb here. Dumb. <laughs> and also, notably, your first handball for three weeks on the weekend. Well, if you're a good kick, um, kick the ball, I reckon. So, yeah, that's why I do it. Yep. Just give it to your ball users. You can actually see you get real upset when you handball. <laughs> I was going for the handball. It was a good rip. I was actually looking for the one too, but Clary didn't give it back. Uh, Clary can be like that. Um, <laughs> Percy, tell us about your time at the footy club so far. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, no, I've loved it. I've learned a fair bit. And um, yeah, it's good having a bit of a change up. So yeah, no, I'm loving it. Uh, your partnership with Max, a lot of questions about it. How have you found working with the big fella so far through 2019? Um, yeah, good. Um, pre-season sucked because I was just chasing his ass <laughs> most sessions. But um, Can we say ass? Obviously. I think we can, yeah. We have twice now. So. We've said worse. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, obviously if you're training with the best, you're going to get a bit of improvement yourself. So yeah, it's awesome. He doesn't really speak to me off the field but is that right or when people aren't around he doesn't usually give me a bit but today he's actually talking to me so it's good is that true well I mean I had to avoid him last week <laughs> he was trying to stand on my ankle I was um, going to say did he kick it a few times yeah, well he did once actually <laughs> <laughs> um, he said accidental but I went back and checked the vision <laughs> come from 200 metres away <laughs> um, no look it's 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 been a while I mean Jake Spencer was was my last sort of ruck combo and I had a year without anyone there and it's it's handy to have someone um, and I, I think you can play 18 rucks um, yeah, so two shouldn't be that hard um, I reckon one of us can probably play wing instead of ruck at Not bad, some yeah. point um, especially against a Brad Hill type I think that's definitely down our alley yeah. um, but it's I mean you can see that we gel off each other here um, so we're pretty close around the club and um, he's very very strong Clint he's He's um, what 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 are you? You've come down from 170 to 110. Yeah, 102, 103 now. Yeah, so lost, yeah, six, lost, lost 60 <laughs> kicks since he's come here, which is good. Just leaning up a little bit. Actually, there's a, a fair few questions pertaining to this um, from the outer. Sorry, what was that word? Pertaining. What does that mean? Relating yeah, to this. Yeah. Couldn't have That's just said relating. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, let's go to the pertaining. Uh, <laughs> pertaining, Max. Uh, actually, just one, just to give you a taste, because we'll get into uh, your questions from the outer after the break, but uh, Marcus does ask, how much can you bench, big fella? Um, at the minute, I haven't done weight since I've did my shoulder, so probably yep. I struggle to do 60 kilos <laughs> at the minute. Oh, yeah, not great. The other one from Josh, he asks, who would be left standing if you and Shane Mumford ran into each other? Um... I wouldn't run into Shane Mumford, so <laughs> stuff that. Max? Um, well, 
people who bench big numbers shouldn't say the numbers. It's a yeah. cardinal sin to actually tell people how much you I bench. I think Jack was talking about so it last both week. <laughs> <laughs> He's been relatively modest where Jack would probably... How much was it, Jack? I'll let you know. 155. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> um, no, nah, but Braden would definitely be up there with Jack. He's just not allowed to do weights anymore because he's too big. <laughs> very good. As I say, we'll head into the outer very, very shortly. Um, we've only got a few more minutes left with you, Maxi, because you've got an appointment. Yep. Um, We're a tag team, so I've got to go in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck for the whole podcast. Um, just to, you've already addressed the ankle, but yep. you'll definitely play this week, you think? Ah, uh, well, there's no definites in footy. Um, mm. I, well, for one, I have to make sure I get picked. Mm. Um, a winning team with some good quality tools uh, in their performances. I mean, Weeds did his stuff down there yep. in Rooster and... Um, and Tom McDonald was super. I mean, he kicked six and not one of them will be on the highlight wheel, but he still kicked six, didn't he? Um, so it will be interesting. Um, and I've got to make sure my ankle's good as well. So big training session on Thursday. Recover Friday. Another training session Saturday. So there's still a lot of hurdles. Bit of water to uh, go under the bridge. Yeah. But um, I wanted to, like I said, I thought I was pretty good to play on the Sunday just going. So hopefully it'll be all right. Uh, any plugs you want to um, get away before you leave us? How's, um, how's business going? Yeah, business is good. Um, obviously, the bearded jaffle, um, which is... Still making jaffles? Yeah, which is a food truck that... What's um, it, you got any new on the menu? Like it's a parmarama. 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 How much are they going for at the minute, actually? Uh, they range in between 9 to 10.50. Jesus. Bit of uh, the Palmarama is rel- <laughs> the Palmarama is relatively expensive. For what, what, what do you hear? What's in it? What is it? Go. Uh, it's, it's basically popcorn, chicken, um, crunched up Doritos, chutney, and cheese. Wow. So that's where you get your Palma flavour of, of obviously Superb. with the Palmarama. So that's probably the number one seller. And there's an Oreo Schmore, which is Oreos and marshmallows. Which is that is more? That's like, that's like a dessert. A nah, dessert. A, Jaffle. No, it's dinner. <laughs> dessert chaff. <laughs> Um, and 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 a really going good wine bar. First three months has been fun. Um, obviously, haven't been able to drink too much there while it's been open. But saw you pop up on postcards actually. Yeah, it did pop up postcards, um, which was fun. Me and Beck Judd, um, and yeah, lots we, of glamour there. Yeah, there, there was. <laughs> um, we're probably the two big names in Melbourne at the moment, so um, it was handy to get that interview done and dusted. But. Life outside of footy is going well. Good stuff, Maxi. You been down to the wine bar, Percy? No, I don't drink wine. It tastes like <laughs> shit. <so. laughs> <laughs> nah. I think there's a beer there. There's one beer there, though. Yeah. Is it craft beer? Uh, it's a, it's my beer, actually. Uh, I won't be going any <laughs> so. so this is what I have to deal with. So I'm, I'm, putting, I'm trying to be the best person I can be to yeah. make Braden a better person and to make him a better Ruckman, but he just puts up this wall. It's so hard to, so hard to get in. Need yeah. that? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a microphone in front of you. Right? <laughs> hey, uh, that was a Max, question or not. Uh, yeah. your appointment is calling, I believe. We're going to take a short break yeah, right. and come back with your questions to Braden Proust from the Outer. Episode 14, Inside Melbourne with Thanks to Zurich. Thanks to our co-major partner and podcast sponsor, Zurich. For over 100 years, they've been ensuring the people and the things you truly love. And just like you, they truly love footy and they truly love Melbourne. Welcome back to Inside Melbourne. Thanks to Zurich. Uh, we're sitting here chatting away with Braden Proust. Max, he's left us. Um, and we're going to fire up some questions at you, mate. You uh, ready to roll? Yep, let's do it. Before we do, you can tell us what you really think of Max now. He's gone. <laughs> no, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> next, next question. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough about Max. Um, I've got an interesting one here uh, from Pat Rodway. Why don't you use social media? Um, I'm just I'm being fun out lately. I'm a busy man when I get home. Um, I've been watching Game of Thrones. Yeah. So um, yeah, that takes up most of my time, and between that, sleeping, eating, I'm just flat out. Yeah. Game of Thrones. And I don't like it. I just I don't like it when people just sitting around on their phones and just yeah. scroll through Instagram or Facebook. But yeah. And a lot of the time they're potting each other as well. It's oh, social yeah. media. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, by the looks of it, everyone comes in, looks at their phones, and are depressed. So. I walk in pretty point. happy most days. So, yeah. I like it. You're talking about more, most of the boys in the uh, <laughs> in the locker room there, sort of looking at their phones constantly, yeah, liking it's photos, funny. putting up photos, selfies, yeah. all that. Who's yeah. the worst? Um, well, I haven't actually seen Christian Protractor has had his phone yet. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what it's like to look at him in the eye, but yeah, it should be. <laughs> once you get a phone off him, it should be right. Well, I think it's, it's uh, not, not only is it a, uh, 
a locker room thing. I think it's a society. It is yeah. a society. Oh, you thing. know, you know. I think you sit on a tram or a train, yeah. And uh, there's not much eye contact going on. It's everyone staring at their phones. That's right. Bruce, you spoke about Christian Petrarca just before. Um, AFL legend Tips asks, "What teammate would you not like to get stuck in an elevator with?" Am uh, I? Am I? Is it fair to say that it's probably him, or um, it's sort of a theme that has been repeated? On this know, podcast. I should get along with anyone. I wouldn't mind it. It's probably they wouldn't want to get stuck in an elevator with me. Um, <laughs> Fair call. Yeah. No, he, I'm happy to get stuck in an elevator with one of the boys. No dramas at all. How's the humour on the big fella? Does he good chat? Yeah. No. Good. Uh, <laughs> good smack talker. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Could hold hold a conversation with him, no problem. There's actually a few very strange questions here. I mean, I like this one from Brody. He asked, "Do you wear fake tan or is it natural?" No, nah, I've get asked this on a daily basis. I've never had a fake tan in my life, so I don't know why. Um, all my family's just got the glow. I was probably adopted. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, nah, it's weird as. What's the um? What's the Braden Bruce backstory? Where did you um? Where did you grow up? Play. Uh, grew play, up in Townsville. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's well, it's always hot there. It's probably why I make so much yep. sun up. But yeah, I um, played rugby league till I was 16, 17. The mad switch over, and um, yeah, next minute I'm playing AFL. That was pretty cool. Do you sort of keep half an eye on league still, or? Yeah, massive Cowboys fan, but yeah. um, we're struggling a bit at the minute, so that's not good. And half the boys that went to my school with now play at Storm. So I was going to say there's a fair Storm contingent yeah. from Townsville. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool um, seeing them come through. So it's awesome. Hmm. Good stuff. Jack, what else we got? Some really insightful. Who was your best preseason training partner in Townsville? I felt like this is a loaded question. Ask um, Sullivan. Um, well, I did a running session with Big Spence once. Yeah. Um, well, if I had a good training partner, I'd be fitter than I am. So <laughs> they've all let me down. Another one I've tried running with, and everyone's yeah. always fitter than me. So. Yeah. Uh, Daniel asks, Have you ever been told you resemble Happy Gilmore's caddy? Um, I also get that <laughs> on a daily basis as well. Yeah. I just I, I, lucky I don't have feelings, or else. <laughs> <laughs> this is some completely random questions. In fact, <laughs> these I dare say, outside of Jaden Hunt, he cops some really random questions, didn't he? Uh, does it speak wonders about about the man? Or I think people are interested and curious. Yeah. You know about who is Braden Bruce, and they want to find out about him. Uh, I've got one here. Was it tricky to ruck against Matthew Cruiser? Um, a little bit. He's a weird sort of ruckman. He moves very well and he's obviously very experienced. He plays to his strengths. But um, I think once I just settled in and played my own game, I think I competed pretty well. Yep. Hmm. Who do you enjoy going head to head with? Uh, I would prefer to go head to head with no one and just win every hit out. And just go one just, out. <laughs> just play just me being the only ruckman. That'd be nice. But you don't really enjoy playing anyone because it's their job to get hit outs against you and stop you. So. Yeah, we got to fucking just go up against no one. That'd be sweet. And in terms of um, the transition to the demons, uh, happened obviously in the uh, preseason. Gone. Um, yep. How did it all come about, and and what did you like about what was most appealing about Melbourne from um, far? Juicy four-year contract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I just obviously caught up with Gorney and Goody in the off season, and um, yeah, just liked liked the development and liked um, them as fellows. So yeah, it's actually a pretty easy. Easy decision. Obviously, copped a fair bit of smack for it because um, what's his name? Gorney plays here, of course. And uh, yeah, what's so. his name, Gorney? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nah, I'm yeah, I'm pretty happy with the decision. What, what do you mean you cop smack from media or? Yeah, I think so. Everyone yeah. probably asked why I was going there, but obviously, I think I'm getting better as a player and as a person. So yeah, I think good. one of the things I've noticed, you know, just um, observing and also reading through these questions. And I'd get interested to get your take on it, but um, you know the Melbourne Melbourne fans and supporters, you know, seem to really have a actual genuine interest in you and su really want to support you. And you know, there's people saying, um, you know, they wish you were playing every week, and um, you know, that seems to be the con general consensus mm -hmm. is um, the fans out there want you in the team and they're behind you. I guess how's that? make you feel and do you feel that love and support from them um well i don't have the social media so i don't really see it well there you go well, well they should be picking reading from the teams i'd be in the you. team each week but um, yeah they should go speak to goody face to face so <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um yeah it's obviously nice obviously it takes one bad game to fair everyone to jump off you pretty quick <laughs> but um yeah no it's pretty nice i haven't really caught that much crap from media or anything yet so 
Jay Thompson, 90, just to reinforce this, he says, love Prusy's attitude slash work rate slash go at the footy. Um, let him know that I think he'll be a cult hero at the Ds. I think he's already established himself uh, in that role. But he says, I uh, uh, want to ask the big man who his main mates are at the Ds. Who do you hang out with? Um, well, all of that at Nana Goon, so I don't really hang out with anyone. But... Um, <laughs> No, I don't really have a, a crew that I really hung out with. Obviously, Corey Waitler Wagner has been from Queensland and playing at North with him, hang around with him a fair bit, but I sort of like to float between packs, to, um, to be honest with you. I don't really have a crew that I sit down with. Nana Goon, there's a question here from Kyron. Um, you get around the Nana Goon Football Club, is that yeah, right? Love it. Get um, Go there most Thursday nights and always get named in their twos as well, funnily <laughs> enough. I can't really get named in the ones wherever I go. But yeah, no, I love going there and watching local footy. How good's local footy? Yeah. How many times have you counted to infinity? Uh, I don't usually count past <laughs> roughly 15 to 18 because that's how many touches I get. I've never cracked 20, so I've never actually counted above 20. Chico, Chico rolls or Vietnamese pork rolls? I'm, I'm happily take both, but Chico roll, whatever's in them. It's What's a Chico stuff. roll? Um, it's just got a whole lot of unknown yeah, stuff it in it. must be good for you. It's, just, it's yeah. actually... Wait, is it like a, like a sandwich? Like It's sort of like a spring roll, but... Oh, okay. It's got a whole lot of... I don't even know what stuff. it is. It's just stuff that you just don't know delicious. its origin. It's absolutely delicious. They are good. Wrong, yeah. What, like a dim sim? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, it's like a long you sort of, dim sim, sort of. You sort of, depending on where you get one from, you yeah. sort of take your, your life in your own hands, yeah, really. Right. <laughs> All right, this is another one. Dim sim or potato cake? Potato cake, every day of the week. 100%. Sauce, oh, I chicken agree. Salt, chicken laughing. salt? Mm. Chicken yeah. salt. Vinegar. Yeah. Vinegar. Yeah. Vinegar. On vinegar. A, yeah, on a potato cake. You can leave. Salt Yuck. vinegar. <laughs> so good. Just Yuck. drenched in vinegar. Does that mean you have vinegar with dumplings? Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do actually. Really? Yeah. But no, I do soy sauce and vinegar. Do you ever do the one where you have vinegar? There's a vinegar and soy sauce at Chinese restaurants and you put the... Because I, like, I prefer soy sauce, but I sometimes... On potato cakes? No, no, on, on <laughs> oh. um, dumplings. Yeah, Sorry. Nah, fair enough, yeah. I'm changing quickly yeah. here, but, you know, you accidentally put the vinegar on your dumplings and you... Yeah. Chuck it in your mouth and it's like, oh, what's that? You're laughing. Yeah, no yeah. good. Mm. Are you watching Origin? Yeah. Big game um, three coming uh, up. Yeah, I'll be watching game three. Game one was good. I guess the right score and first try scores and all that. So it got me points up in the, uh, in, uh, are you in that thing where you have to guess uh, NRL? The tipping competition, that's what it's called. No, nah, I'm not. I'm not. Well, that was, I'm still coming like third last, but <laughs> it was a good week for me. Um, yeah, this game two wasn't as great. But we always bounce back game three. The decider, yeah. Sydney. Do you stay loyal to the Cowboys? you always tip them? Yeah, always. That's probably why I'm coming last. To be honest <laughs> but um, yeah, I bet with my heart, so it's killing me. Just a, another one on rugby league, if I can. Cameron Smith plays 400 games yeah. this week. He's just, he's outstanding, isn't he? Have That's you seen him around right. the traps? Yeah. Much? Yeah, it's, um, when I first come here, I was a bit starstruck. <laughs> yeah. When all the Storm players walk around. But um, yeah, to play 400 games of any sport's pretty, pretty decent. Extraordinary effort. Mm. Absolutely. I do not disagree. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy to be honest with you, but I'll take 400 as well. Percy, yeah. hopefully um, many more to come, especially in the red and blue. Um, as I say, or as Jack so eloquently put, um, the fans love you and what you're doing Thanks, right guys. now. So um, And the players, mate. And yeah, the players yeah, love you too. Thanks, guys. Hopefully the coaches. Uh, <laughs> Share the love. Uh, doggies this weekend. Eddie had... Or sorry, not Eddie had stadium. What's it called these days? Marble. Marble, Marble. Marble Stadium. Yeah. Hey, kids get in free as well. So if you're listening and... Damn. Um, kids want to get along. So I think it's under 15. Get in free to Marble Stadium. So um, chuck on the red and blue and get down there. Be a tough one, Jack. Um, Tom McDonald out for the rest of the season too. Um, but... Uh, a win's a win. We bank that win and um, hopefully build a bit of momentum. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think uh, no such thing as... Uh, oh, every game we've played this year has been a tough one. Mm. Um, you know, we expect nothing less coming up against Doggies. They're in really good form as well. So uh, we know we're going to have to bring our A game and um, the group's, you know, hungry to, to find some form. Um, you know, two out of three weeks. Uh, we've, we feel like we've uh, played reasonably strong football. So, yeah, we've got to look to make it more consistent and um, it's a really good challenge this week against the Doggies. Caro thought you over-celebrated against the Blues. Did she? Mm. How so? I I'm don't interested. know. Because you kick a goal to jump back in front with a minute 30 to play. You you typically do celebrate that. Yeah. It's a f and, and well, it, I over-celebrated the goal. We well, just over-celebrated full stop the win. <laughs> I just find that so amazing. I don't understand how we would have. 
Like celebrate? I think well, we celebrated this, that win the same way we've celebrated yeah. every other win. You've also got a first gamer in there, Kyle Dunkley. GC yeah. did well. Yeah. It was good. Oh, I'm baffled. Uh, and that's why I don't watch, that's why I don't keep tabs the, on this the stuff. The Monday Night Footy Show. It shit <laughs> makes me so angry when I hear <laughs> garbage like that. Oh, we'll stop oh. celebrating then. Yeah, there's a fair selection of Monday yeah. Night Footy shows to um, tickle your fancy. Yeah. Um, Sorry, um, what were we saying? <laughs> Kyle Dunkley. Yeah, no, nah, what champ um, coming for his first game. It's been so impressive at VFL level and to get his opportunity at AFL was well deserved and held his own. So props to um, to Dunks. Well done to you, Percy, as well. Um, we'll see you there, Marvel Stadium. I reckon yeah, you'll get the so. nod. Just game. stay at home. Tom's here. Stay <laughs> so I'll be there early. Nah, stay at home full forward, as we mentioned. Right, well, just I'll leave the goal square, I'll be flat. Just yeah. jagging a few. <laughs> Mate, it's been a pleasure. Great stuff. Nice insight into um, into you and your time at the club. Um, as I say, the first of many more. Well done. Thank you. Jack, good to have you back. We'll catch you next week. See you then. Inside Melbourne with thanks to Zurich. Peace. Peace.